Keith Lee rated Chipotle a 2 out of 10. Yeah, Chipotle's always been a 2 out of 10. Lately, Chipotle have not hit the same. Fall off of Chipotle. Are we talking about the downfall of Chipotle? Outrage. What do you mean? Are we talking about the same Chipotle? You know, the Chipotle that gave the people E. coli way too many times. That Chipotle? Chipotle has always been the subway of burritos. You know, they give you bland, unoffensive food and large portions of it. That's always been their thing. That's why white people like them so much. What? There's a restaurant that serves large portions of bland, tasteless food that's very popular with white people? Are you sure? <laughs> uh. Outrageously small portion sizes. After Keith Lee ordered food from Chipotle, he rated them 2 out of 10 as one of them was cold and the other one had only two pieces of small chicken. This is a 2 out of 10. Chipotle has been infamous for skimping on their food for a while now. And oh, okay. I didn't know that. I'm, I'm going to be real honest. I don't eat at Chipotle because why would I? But like I mentioned earlier, the one of the big staples, you know, they've always served terrible gray slop. But to their credit, they did give you large portions. You know, they're not going to exactly stimulate your taste buds, but at least you're going to get a full belly, which is respectable. I give credit to Chipotle for that. But if they're starting to skip out on that one thing that makes them worthwhile, why, why are we going? Why are you going? Why are you going to this place that serves terrible food and you're not even getting a lot of it? What are we doing? Following Keith Lee video, people decided to do something about it. From rating them one star on their online reviews. Oh, it's time for phase two. We have phase one, the reviews. Walking out before the order is done if the portions were extremely small. And if the portion sizes aren't top tier, walk out. Oh, man. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. Okay. Well, I mean, one thing I agree. Yeah, just don't. So don't fucking go there. There's tons of places you can eat other than Chipotle. But, and you know, rating them, that's also fine. I don't really care about that either. But I don't agree with the last part. Like, don't, you don't need to harass the staff. It's not their fault. They're not the ones deciding to give you the small portions. I'm sure that's coming from, you know, corporate to, you know, give them less food and stuff like that. So don't, don't do that. Why, why are you doing, why would you go to a restaurant just to make an awkward situation, make a scene like this? You know, you're just, you're just harassing the workers who, again, like, yeah, come on. All right, just don't go. Why you like there's no reason for you to do this other than for your own, you know, personal gain or like you feel like you're getting them, you're really sticking it to them. It's like, no, you're just being a dick. Literally all you're doing. So don't don't harass them. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. Don't While go. others are saying to just boycott it because their prices there, continue yeah. to go yeah. up even though we'll their portion that. sizes are getting smaller. Because look at this. This is supposed to be a large. What is this? How is this $20? Well, others are choosing to opt out from eating out and create their own Chipolas at home. And even when asking for yeah. seasoning, they get charged $2 for this much. Chipolas get- oh, shit. Yeah, very simple. Don't eat there. Don't harass the workers. Just don't, just go make your own food like, like they showed. It, I mean, at this point, you know, a lot of these fast food places are becoming unsustainable business-wise. You know, the part, better the big reason that people went to these places for food is because it was cheap. And if it's no longer cheap, we're not going to go there. And I know you might be like, well, oh, but I really like Chipotle, you know, for whatever reason, you know, mental illness is a thing. But, but, but I mean, don't worry. They always threaten like, oh, we're going to shut them all down and we're going to leave. It's like, OK, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And shut them down. Really? You're going to leave all that money on the table? Really? Really? I guarantee you, if we just stopped going to these places for just like a few months, maybe like three to six months, if we all just stopped going there and just started going to the grocery store to make our own food, I guarantee you, magically, magically out of nowhere, all of a sudden, oh, it doesn't take $20 to make a burrito. Oh, some fairy must have flown over and farted all over our food ingredients and made it less expensive. Crazy. <laughs> I guarantee you, as soon as they start losing profits, they'll change their business model because it's just, it's just getting outrageous. They're like twenty dollars for a burrito? That's ridiculous. And even like a small burrito, like what is from this? Chipotle? How is this from Chipotle? A twenty dollar burrito from? Ch Come on, yeah, just stop going there. Like I said. Trust me, this a whole thing will equilibrium itself out as soon as we just stop going there. Stop. Stop going there. And don't don't harass the workers, obviously. Don't be a freaking loser. <laughs>